Hello, everyone. I'm Amro, and this is Aya from the Urban Intervention with Data Plan. I'm still um, mesmerized of how many nationalities there are in this room. Um, actually, this was the case in our team and many teams working in this three days workshop. And uh, basically, regardless of the diverse backgrounds, we couldn't help but marvel uh, at the establishment of a Ministry of Happiness in UAE, uh, which actually caught uh, our attention. To start with, uh, urban in intervention is a process, is a very unique process of observing a certain ecosystem, a certain target community, studying the different variables, uh, designing uh, a certain, uh, designing towards a certain result, watching the feedbacks, iterating until we reach the perfect policy we want, and that keeps on going on. So, basically, when we uh, observed uh, the, the process of launching the uh, Ministry of Happiness, we were wondering about how can this unique feeling uh, be measured. It has many components. It's so specific to different areas around the world, yet it is shared by millions. So for example, if I ask you to show your hand if you're happy right now, would you do that? Yeah, cities won't. So what we did is that we sat on a field trip and we started noticing the different spaces, from tightly knit societies to insanely spacious venues. Uh, we've also been to the old city, and we noticed how it's inhabited by mostly foreigners, where natives decided to move to modern communities and uh, high rises. So happiness is unique to every society, just like urban planning. Um, our team only set on finding the perfect recipe through data. In our pursuit to figure out the problem of happiness, to quantify it, we, look, uh, we tried to look at different aspects of uh, what an urban plan looked like. Uh, we tried to minimize the, the characteristics as much as we can as, although the, the problem is really complex. But we have tried to figure out in the last few days is to, to figure out data about education, healthcare, green spaces, cultural spaces, mobility, and density of population. Gathering all this data through the government websites, through Google Maps, uh, all of this data that is, uh, that is available to us, but we are not able to, to actually uh, materialize it in something interesting. We combined all of this and we came out with an algorithm. Probably simplistic at the moment with this, with this current setup, but at the end, we have actually reached the results that could give us an indication of how happiness is, could be measured. We arrived to something that we called community happiness indicator, using all this data from all these sources, and we applied it to uh, a system that was designed at MIT, uh, the city matrix system. The city matrix system is basically a Lego-based uh, tool that you can project lights on top of. The light uh, is actually projected in a way that reflects certain aspects, data, indicators, um, uh, things that you want to measure. So as I'm trying to show over here, all, all these layers, each one of them represents a data layer. The health, the mobility, the whatever you want, and you add it on top of each other, uh, and you arrive to a, a, a conclusion based on a certain area. In our case, we studied an exact location in Dubai, which is basically a three kilometers squared uh, in the World Trade Center area. And this is how it looks like in, in the beginning. After applying all our uh, equation and algorithms with, using the data, we arrive at something like this for an indication of how happy a community could, do, could look like. This is happier, definitely, and this is less happy. More importantly, and what the tool was designed for is that at any point in time, you can actually manipulate uh, each component over here, assuming that you want to add a hospital in a certain area. 
and see how actually this will benefit the area itself. It's not just that you're going to see what data is available or how happy the community currently is, but you can actually infer what happens next. What we have tried to do is to pin down a very complex system into a number. Happiness is a measure that we all can refer to, but nobody can uh, pin down. Uh, we realize that this is a complex issue. We realize that is, this is not definitely um, an answer that gives you 100% accuracy, but we believe that this is something that we can build on. And as you will see later on in the demo, this is something that you can play with, and you see with, with logic or reasoning that this, is actually, this actually makes sense. Our interactive decision feedback, what we are aiming for in the whole process with this system, is that decision makers, um, we, we are looking for that decision makers will sit around in a table and actually give their inputs and try to play with the data in real time and see how, what happens with their citizens, with their community. How happier would they, look, would they be? How, how could they interact with them even more? How could they share their, those results with them and get their feedback? based on their decisions. What we are going to do in the future, or what we aim for, is to, to have more refined measures, collect more data, get actual user feedback, and figure out how to map this through a whole country, probably the whole region of MENA region, and actually deliver this to the decision makers themselves. More importantly, this tool is a scalable tool. It's not just for this specific problem. You can imagine whatever you want that you want to measure for your community, for your citizens, and then apply that problem, and then this will scale up again. And it's not just for happiness specifically. Well, City Matrix is not just a tool that is perfect for decision making and urban planning. It's an insightful tool for citizens to interact with their city, to see the magic behind catering for their own happiness, for their own satisfaction. It basically shows them how decision-making makes their cities the happiest of all metropolis there are. And our system is waiting for you over there to actually see uh, what is done, the process, the data, and how it is mapped. Thank you.